Hi, I'm Jordan. Tyler. This is Jet Stream or Jet Podcast. We're creating a podcast while extremely intoxicated. And uh, I'm going to begin because Jay comes before ENT and Jet. True so that. my third of this podcast is going to be about philosophical talk. In other words, things that have to do with our existence. So let's get started. Now, the first thing I have to talk about tonight is existence itself. As this is the first episode, I want to create a foundation for what I'm going to be talking about in further episodes. Before, I'm going to preface with the fact that everything we say in this podcast is subjective, meaning it's entirely opinion. It's not fact. We're not telling you how to think. We're not telling you how to act. We're not telling you how to behave. We're just telling you our thoughts. This might not even be things that we do, but we're just telling you them. All right, here we go. So... On existence. So we are a collective whole. We as human beings are a collective whole. But we're bound by something stronger than our own DNA. We're bound by our common shared experiences. This is stronger than our instinctual bond. And this is a bond that's not due to similarity alone, but similarity in lifestyle. And the most fundamental part of this existence is our connection to the things around us. In other words, the beings around us. This common connection is our defining factor. So in a vacuum, I want you to imagine yourself in a dark vacuum and think about all the labels of a vacuum. So there's no time, there's no space, there's nothing. There's darkness around you, you're in a vacuum. Inside of a vacuum, we're no longer human. What defines us as humans is gone. We're no longer alive. What defines us as alive is gone. And what defines us as existing beings is also gone inside of a vacuum. So preface by our existential purpose. So what is our existential purpose? I believe that education is the process of deepening our central connection to the beings around us, to our world. And I think that this is defined by our means to understand our relationship with the world. So first being ourselves, we have to understand who we are and what we are in the grand scheme of things. And complementary um, is the society or the place in which our individual self is, is in. So who we are, but where we are and what part of the scheme we play. So to be a human, to become a human, education has to occur. In other words, we have to learn things, not just about ourselves. We have to, in, we have to take it stimuli to the world around us. So to be a human is impossible to be alone. We have to be with somebody else. So yes, it takes a village to raise a child, but it takes a village to make him human. So it takes other people the learning has to occur to make that person human. Finally, my last point tonight is about death. So I've talked about existence, and I've talked about our purpose of existence, education, and I've talked about, finally, death. At some point in our existence, our connection to things and beings around us is going to be severed. It's going to be, it's going to be ended. And that is death. But that is not to say our lives are purposeless. For the connections to others we form in our lives remains a part of them. Our progress in connecting with the world may end well end, but others, um, it may aid others in their journey in the world. So it might give us a secondary purpose, not only to inform ourselves, but to help others be informed. Our humanity is guaranteed, our purposes are fulfilled in our lives, in our lives. So to live is almost to connect. There is no disconnection without life. So life isn't it what it is without a disconnection at some point. So eventually our life is going to have to end and that's where existence ends. But it's, it's defined by it. I want to highlight that point. We don't live unless we die. And finally... Um, Death is defined by our shared experiences, and the only shared experience we all have besides birth is death. Separating the I from the we. So the collective we is binded 
bound by the death of I. That's all I have. All right. Well, um, we're going to talk about a little bit of science today. Um, as you can see, there is no planet B. Um, let's start off with um, recognizing that climate change is real. Um, if you don't believe that, um, maybe open literally any textbook in the world um, and you'll realize that climate change is real. Um, you could look at literally any statistic, even the very um, swayed statistics, and you can see that climate change is real. Um, and if you're still confused, um, maybe stop working for the Cook Brothers. Anyway, um, I would love to talk about masks and that. So we're getting with the T guard swag underscore 22 um, science talk here. So we are balling up here. I'm talking about masks. Um, wear a fucking mask. Why are you not wearing a fucking mask right now? I don't know why the hell you're watching this YouTube video and not wearing a fucking mask. Think about all the people you can contaminate. You could contaminate through a screen into Jordan and I. Just kidding. You don't need to wear a mask to watch a YouTube video, but you need to wear a fucking mask when you're in public because you're going to contaminate people. All right, let's think about why would you wear a mask? Uh, let's see, prevent um, spread to other people um, and prevent spread to yourself. What else fucking reasons do you need? There are zippity doo dah reasons why you need any more. Um, the reason a mask is very effective is when you think about it and when you um, cough, spit, whatever the hell you decide you're going to bodily fluid produce from your mouth, um, your mask is going to stop it, okay? And it's going to stop it and it's going to keep it from spreading to others, um, which is the whole point of a mask because you're not trying to spread the virus. So wear the freaking mask, okay? That is the whole point of this episode, um, wear your freaking mask. I don't know why you're not wearing your mask right now. That's the only way schools are going to stay in public, um, in person, either virtual, not virtual, either um, hybrid or in person. Um, if we don't do that, fly, um, we're going to go virtual, which is a horrible idea. I mean, it's, a, it's what we're going to have to do if we don't do it, but it's a horrible thing for the students. Um, we got to think about that. Um, you know, this is our first podcast. We are toasted beyond the boasted. Um, this is our second record from our phone since the computer no work. But, you know, we ballin' McBallin' All right. um, for the video. Um, so, this is Tyler signing out. All right. So, this is Jetstream. Other words, Jet Podcast. Emerson is not present, so the E is not present. So, this is a JT Podcast coming at you. Have a good night. Like I said before, this is all subjective. Don't take this on fact. We mean nothing. We are nothing. So. Except science. Take science to fact because science is as political as we make it. Yeah, it's not political at all. It's science. But more, moreover, hope you enjoyed tonight. All right. We got a f this is why I wanted to use the goddamn thing I'm familiar with. What are you familiar with? This? <laughs> Fucking pictures of me from... I would redo this in a heartbeat if you want. Junior year of high school? That's fine. Let's do it. No, hold on. You're on fucking iPhones. That's not photos. You have... I don't know. What's going on. You're on... What are you looking for? Fucking your camera? I don't think there was even a camera on... There is. Go to FaceTime, maybe. Who am I going to FaceTime? That's what happens when I leave a camera. Google, Google how to get on camera on me. That's not, it's not even an app. Just relax for a second. It recorded your half. I know it did, so you should probably... Honestly, I could, could I could condense this. Oh, you use it's a light. None of these, bro. Fucking. This is fucking what I'm looking up. There's no camera on the fucking Mac Pro, dude.